really trying to do is create a signature product. We really want to create cold brews that are bright and clean and refreshing. At Venice Cold Brew, we're starting with beautiful premium coffees. We're starting with spring water. And what we're doing is we're steeping those for 12 plus hours in vats that are free of oxygen. Um, we're running through multiple filtration processes. And at the end of the day, we're nitro fleshing bottles and we're packaging in this in a way to create this stable, beautiful product. I think what we really wanted to do was create a voice, you know, for where we come from, which is Southern California. We really wanted to tap into bright colors. We really wanted to tap into this, this clean outdoor vibe. And so we wanted that to translate directly to the packaging. Uh, we went with a clear glass bottle. We went with a beautiful silver top. And the branding, we wanted to be really light and poppy and really show off the clarity of the coffee inside. The decision started with moving here. I mean, it really started with kind of meeting people and sensing this place and really wanting to dig in and develop a product that comes from the neighborhood I'm living in. And then I also wanted to really tap into experiences from my life of living in New York City, living in Portland, Oregon, and really wanting to take cold brew to the next level and really kind of work close to home and then try to export this feeling to the world. I, I gotta say yes, it's super exciting because here's the deal. Um, you look at Stumptown, you look at Blue Bottle, you look at Chameleon, you look at some of these folks that have put in so much legwork to get to the category, to get it to where it's at now, right? To this point where Starbucks now has something, you know, Chameleon continues to push on. And to me, the conditions are just perfect for someone like Venice Cold Brew to come in and make a mark. I mean, I look at industries like craft brewing, you know, and it's like you've got these larger brands that are now being heavily supported by these smaller craft brewers to really dimensionalize the category. And that's what I want to do. I want to further further dimensionalized cold brew and make it so when someone looks at a shelf there is a host of offerings that are you know top notch that continue to get more people to want to drink cold brew and enjoy cold brew regularly. I mean I think what we really want to do is exactly what you're saying we want to concentrate locally and then I think we want to progress into markets that we think um, provide a great opportunity. Uh, San Francisco, um, I think we would love to go to Brooklyn. Uh, we'd love to go to Austin. I think we would love to just see this brand progress to places where there's a healthy coffee culture, and then, again, build it out from there.